Good morning. Welcome to the Chief of Staff and Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force International Honor Roll Induction Ceremony. I'm Major Reeves, your MC for today's event. Each year, Air University provides professional military and continuing education to over 250 international officers and senior enlisted leaders. Our partner nations send only their best, as witnessed by the 41 Air University alumni being inducted today. Including international partners in our professional military education programs enhances coalition operations and interoperability and provides valuable regional perspectives from our partners and allies. In short, our shared experiences in education are foundational to partnerships based on trust and common goals. Today's ceremony recognizes the success of 41 Air University alumni whose achievements serve as inspiration to current and future Air University graduates. This is the first international honor roll ceremony to recognize senior enlisted leaders who have attained the position of Chief Master Sergeant of their Air Force or higher. Recognizing our international enlisted partners alongside our international officers emphasizes the importance of a professional enlisted corps and the value of a united officer and enlisted command team. The names of the outstanding officers and enlisted honored today will be permanently enshrined here in the International Airmen Room. This year's ceremony also marks the induction of Air University alumni from three countries never before represented in the International Honor Roll, Lithuania, Montenegro, and Suriname. Please allow me to introduce our distinguished guests and hold your applause until all introductions have been made. We welcome General Brown's wife, Mrs. Shireen Brown, Commander and President Air University, Lieutenant General and Mrs. James Hecker, and Command Chief Air University, Chief Master Sergeant Randy Kwiatkowski. Assistant Deputy Commander, 9th Air Force, Major General Clark Quinn, and Command Chief, 9th Air Force, Chief Master Sergeant John Storms. Vice Commander and the Air University Commander, LeMay Center, Major General and Mrs. William Holt. Commander, 12th Air Force, Major General Barry Cornish. Mobilization Assistant to the Director of Strategy, Plans, and Programs of the Pacific Air Forces, Brigadier General Robert Van Hoy. Command Chief, United States Air Forces in Europe and United States Air Force Africa, Chief Master Sergeant Benjamin Hedden. Finally, we would like to welcome all Commanders, Command Chiefs, and Commandants in attendance. We are honored by your presence here today. <clears throat> now we will introduce our host for today's ceremony. Chief of Staff, United States Air Force, General Charles Q. Brown, Jr. and Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Joanne S. Bass. Ladies and gentlemen, General Charles Q. Brown, Jr. Good morning. And, and as I think about the relationships that I've been able to make over my uh, 37 years of service, I'm reminded of an old African proverb. It says, if you want to go fast, go alone. You want to go far, go together. As the world continues to grow more complex and complicated and uncertain, I'm certain that our Air Forces can work and go together so we can fly, fight, and win. Air power, anytime, anywhere. I want to thank you for this great opportunity to spend time with you today. And congratulations to all of our inductees to the International Honor Roll. As was mentioned by the narrator, this marks a major milestone. Uh, the fact that we were able to uh, induct our largest class, the fact that we are uh, bringing together alumni and recognizing alumni from uh, of 551 from 102 countries. And it's interesting as you look at the wall here, um, as uh, the United States Air Force this year celebrates its 75th uh, uh, anniversary. On the far corner here, it starts in 1947. And that's when the United States Air Force <coughs> came about. And it takes us all the way to today uh, with this great uh, display that uh, for the first time we have here, in, uh, here at Maxwell. We'll also have uh, uh, an opportunity to recognize 
uh, induction of our first senior enlisted members. And again, more than ever, it's all about relationships. It's a collaboration that's important to, for all of us to, as we work together to solve some very complex problems. And we look at how we work together, not only for our own uh, individual national security, but how we work together as allies and partners. As doing that, uh, we must go together. And so as you think about the emerging complexities, it is all about allies and partners. It's about working together, and that is really our competitive edge. It secures our common interests and promotes shared values. It's based on, uh, and I will tell you from my own experience, I've spent a number of years, particularly all my time as a general officer, uh, working uh, with allies and partners, working in positions that were either overseas, uh, around the world, um, having time in Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and the Indo-Pacific. And what I found with each one of those, it is how important those relationships are and how the military relationships around the world, no matter how complex the role is, the military relationships are always rock solid. And I really think about the aspect as we all uh, you know, came here at different ranks, um, uh, to, uh, Maxwell or Maxwell Gunter and coming to Air University, and who would have thought a number of years later that each one of us would rise to these positions, to include myself. I mean, spend time here at Air Command and Staff College, and a couple of my classmates, uh, one of my classmates, unfortunately, uh, um, due to, uh, is a little under the weather, uh, General Tsuchu from uh, Japan was my Air Command and Staff College classmate. Uh, a previous Oman uh, Air Chief was my Air Command and Staff College classmate. And the current uh, Chief of Space Operations for the U.S. Space Force was also my Air Command and Staff College classmate. So uh, I think that the message there is you never know who you're going to be sitting next to in a class. At some point, it's going to be somebody. Um, and, and it's really uh, insightful today that we have a chance to recognize some outstanding uh, leaders from around the world who've had a chance to spend some time here at Maxwell to build those relationships because the relationships really do matter. I believe success takes help. Failure you can do alone. And that's a quote I use quite often. And I think for each one of us, the reason why we've been successful is not only the experience we had here at Maxwell, but it's experiences we've had throughout our respective careers and the relationships we've built uh, to make us successful. But I also want to recognize that, you know, our families uh, do a, have a large part in this and have a large vote and allow us all to be successful for those of us that wear the uniform. So it's really uh, opportunities like this where we have this international honor roll uh, that are so important. And it helps us to reflect on, you know, how we got to where we are, but also how we think about developing the next generation of leaders that will come behind us. And so I uh, very much, again, want to congratulate all the inductees today. Uh, it's, it's a very, very proud day uh, for, uh, for Maxwell, for our United States Air Force, but I would also say for Air Forces around the world. And congratulations to each one of you, uh, to each of you and to your Air Forces for some outstanding work and your dedications, of, years of dedication um, to service. Thank you so much and congratulations. Good morning. Hello. Mahaba. Ahoy. Tada. Did I say it right? Okay. Hello. Labas. Gruetzi. Mihao. And from my hometown, Aloha. Did everybody get that one? Okay, good. Well, wonderful. It is. Truly an honor and so exciting to be here with you all today. It's very exciting to be here with our distinguished guests, um, but more importantly, to look out in the audience and see the family members and the colleagues and, and everybody who's here to be able to support our inductees. Um, biggest congratulations to each of you as our inductees um, for being here for this year's honor roll. It is a big deal. And the best part about this is you don't have to take any tests while you're here during this time. Um, so you've just heard from my boss, General Brown. You also had an opportunity to listen to General Hecker last night when he spoke about strategic competition. So honestly, they've said it all in my opinion. The one thing that I could do, if I can just share a few thoughts about the strength of our militaries, if you will. You know, we talk about the strength of our militaries and our militaries are strong. They're disciplined, they're organized, they're innovative, they are adaptive, and that is all because 
of the people, specifically because of the people. It is true that our people are our most competitive advantage over any adversary that we might have. I often share with our airmen that it doesn't matter how many F-35s we have or how many B-21s or what the new ISR platform is, if we don't have the right people or if we don't have the right talent, then none of that ever matters. And so I'm so excited to stand before you today as a leader of the United States Air Force, but more importantly excited because today we are honoring and inducting seven of my teammates and seven senior enlisted leaders, seven chief master sergeant of the Air Force equivalents in our partner nations, and that is a big deal. And it will be because of the leadership of those seven to include their partnership with you as commanders that your air forces will remain strong, adaptive, collaborative, disciplined. It'll be because of that. So I'm thrilled to call each and every one of you my wingmen. I'm thrilled to call many of you my friends. And I'm thrilled to partner with you as we continue to guide and influence our air forces into the next century and to lead at a time such as this. So with that, congratulations again, and let's get on with the rest of the show. Thank you, Chief Bassett, General Brown. Will you both please come to the front and we'll begin inducting our inductees into the International Honor Roll. Our first inductee, Chief of Staff of the Argentine Air Force, General Javier Isak. Commander, Colombian Air Force, General Ramses Rueda Rueda. <laughs> Czech National Military Representative, Supreme Headquarters, Allied Powers Europe, Major General Petter Romek. <laughs> Command Senior Enlisted Leader, Training Command, Military Academy, Command Sergeant Major, Vladimir Blaschek. Commanding General, Dominican Republic Air Force, Major General Leonel Munoz Noboa. <laughs> Chief of Staff of the Salvadorian Air Force, Colonel Pablo Alberto Soriano Cruz. Commander, Estonian Air Force, Brigadier General Rauno Sirk. <laughs> Chief Master Sergeant of the Estonian Air Force, Chief Master Sergeant Andres Risar. Chief Master Sergeant of the Estonian Air Force, Chief Master Sergeant Yanis Yale. <laughs> Ch 
Chief of Air Staff, Ghana Air Force, Air Vice Marshal Frank Hansen. Chief of Staff, Hellenic National Defense General Staff, Lieutenant General Retired, Nikolaos Dimitrios Kostopoulos. <laughs> Chief of Staff of Honduran Air Force, Colonel of Aviation, Armando Martinez Rueda. Air Force Inspector, Hungarian Defense Forces, Major General Nandor Killian. <laughs> Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Hungarian Defense Forces, Chief Master Sergeant Jolt Barak. Royal Jordanian Air Force Commander, Major General Retired, Zaid Nagrash. <laughs> Royal Jordanian Air Force Senior Enlisted Leader, Chief Warrant Officer Retired, Saif Uldeman. Command Senior Enlisted Leader of the Lithuanian Air Force, Command Sergeant Major Alvidas Tomoshunas. <laughs> Commanding General, Philippine Air Force, Lieutenant General Retired, Rosano Briguez. General Command Deputy Commander, Major General Cesare Vishniski. Inspector of the Polish Air Force, Major General Jacek Pastroa. <laughs> Chief of the Singapore Air Force, Major General Kevin Kong Bu Leong. Commander, Suriname Air Force, Lieutenant Colonel Marvin Van Huizdwinen. <laughs> Commander, Swedish Air Force, Major General Carl Johan Edstrom.
Command Chief Master Sergeant of Joint Operations Command, Chief Master Sergeant Hans Huttmacher. and Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Thai Air Force, Air Chief Marshal Napade Tupatemi. Thank you, distinguished guest, and thank you, General Brown and Chief Bass. Please be seated. We will re now recognize those inductees who are unable to join us today. Please hold your applause until the end. Dr. Nikolai Vankov, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Bulgaria to the Republic of Azerbaijan and Turkmenistan. Colonel retired Manuel Calderon Menendez, Chief of Staff of the Salvadorian Air Force. General Izutsu Shunji, Chief, Japan Air Self-Defense Force. Lieutenant General Themistocles Buriolis, Chief of the Hellenic Air Force General Staff. General Retired Marumo Yoshinari, Chief, Japan Air Self-Defense Force. Colonel Visterius Mas Masilis, Latvian Air Force Commander. Colonel Nindan Pavlovich, Commander, Montenegro Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Bojan Blagovic, Commander, Montenegro Air Force. Colonel Major Retired Hamsa Isa, Deputy Secretary General of the Niger Minister of National Defense. Air Vice Marshal Kamis Hamad Al Ghafri, Commander, Royal Air Force of Oman. Major General Hamad Mubarak Al Nabit, Commander, Qatari Emory Air Defense Forces. General Juan Inchil, Republic of Korea, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Major General Viorel Pana, Chief of the Romanian Air Force Staff. His Royal Highness, Lieutenant General Turkey Ben Bonderbin Abdulaziz, Commander, Royal Saudi Air Force. Air Chief Marshal Retired, Dejudum Congresi, Assistant Commander in Chief of the Royal Thai Air Force. And Major General Mohammed Hajim, Chief of Staff of the Tunisian Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all of the 2022 International Honor Roll inductees. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the departure of the official party. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the induction ceremony.